Hi guys, I'm Cody J, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So a couple weeks ago, I stumbled upon this new crease piece creation kit on TikTok, and I just gave it a try, and I have some, I have some comments, I have some concerns, and some thoughts. So um, if you want to see me use this for the first time, keep on watching. Okay, so I'm super excited about today's video because I'm kind of currently addicted to TikTok, so um, follow me at Cody J Artistry if you're not. But besides that, I keep buying stuff that I see on TikTok, like I just bought $30 worth of cookies the other day from there, and then the other day I was scrolling and I saw this bad boy, the Crease Piece Creation Kit, and I was like, I gotta try it out. Now, I personally love doing cut creases just like the regular way. It's, I mean, very easy for me. I've just, I practice it a lot. I love it. But I was like, what if I can use this to really just kind of speed it up a little bit? But also, I wanted to review this. That way, if there are any of you who struggle with cut creases, maybe this will work for you and you can buy this and try it out and just love it and change your makeup game. So, really, I'm just kind of like trying to help you all out. But I thought this would be fun, so I bought this and it got here in just like, I don't know, maybe a week, but it was only $19.99 and you can buy all these little shapes individually for only a couple bucks, but it comes with a handle, one round crease, one almond, and one wing crease set. So let's open it up. Okay, so opening her up, it looks like this, and you just take the tape off. I don't know what shape I'm gonna use yet, but everything's like silicone, it stays super clean and it comes with these extra replacement adhesive protectors so that's good you put the printed side up so it comes out like this it's very lightweight they kind of just fall out so be careful okay so i decided i'm going to go with the winged shape today so on the back there's directions so i'm going to read them it says step one once you've chosen your desired crease remove the film from the back to adhere it to the top of the handle so i'm just going to peel it off like that now when this adhesive dries out, the owner, I actually talked to her the other day, she said you can just put water on it, like wash it, and it'll bring back the stickiness, so keep that in mind. Okay, so we are going to take this, and it even says the side of the eye, so like this is the right side, just in case you need that. So I'm going to get it like this, I'm gonna press it in, just like so. It sticks, no problem. Cool. Okay, so real quick, I'm going to prime my eyelid with my Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas Eyeshadow Base, because obviously we need a base. Okay, for eyeshadow, I'm using the Ferocious Beauty Cosmetics Darkness Rising Palette, and I think I'm gonna stay with something a little bit more neutral today instead of super colorful, because I gotta change it up once in a while. Just, just once in a while. Okay, so step two says to hold your crease piece gently against the designated eye and apply your eyeshadow over the top edge as desired. So me having hooded eyes, I'm just going to place it here, but I'm also gonna raise it up a little bit because you need to kind of make it work with your eye. Now, since we want this to be built up as far as pigmentation, I'm gonna use a smaller brush so we can really get it in there. You don't wanna use something fluffy because it's gonna kind of not work. Okay, so for my first color, I'm gonna go in with the darkest brown right here. So I'm gonna to have to like look in my mirror as I do this, so I'm sorry if I'm not looking at you, okay? Okay, so I'm going to place it here like that and kind of adjust it how I want, so like, there. Does that look good? That looks good, I think. So let me, I gotta get all through my mirror. So we're just going to apply it over the edge. Okay, so we have the outline like that, so let's take it off. Like, like I get it, but like, I don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna take a lighter shade, which is this one right here. This looks so weird. This is so weird. I don't like it already at all. Just saying. And we're just going to kind of buff it out. The shape is just so ugly, honestly. And like, it's not, this is not winged. This is so ugly and so weird. This is the ugliest thing I've ever seen in my life. What is it? What do you, this is, Okay, so I'm looking at this again and I'm like analyzing it. It says wing R. You see that? Wing R, right side. This is my right eye. It doesn't go on that one. It goes on the left side. So they're like marked wrong because that's, that's why the shape is so ugly and weird. It doesn't, you see what I mean? It should be this way. That makes sense, obviously, but I was just going by what it said, but I'm like, that's not right. It's literally backwards. So let me wipe this off and do it again. Okay, so now I'm putting the other one in here. But yeah, this one says wing L. That would mean left eye. What else would it mean? 
but it doesn't go in this eye. That doesn't make sense. It goes in this eye, because that makes sense. So I'm confused. I'm like, did they just make a big mistake on the design? I think so. Okay, now that I have that on, I'm gonna dip into the lighter color and just kind of buff it out. Okay, it's time for the reveal. Let's see if this one's better. I mean, it ruins my foundation because you have to press it so hard against your eye for it to not move and I'm like half blind in this eye and now I gotta fix my face. One second. Yeah, that's kind of annoying. Like you can't get it right against your eye without pressing it against your face. So I guess if you're gonna use this, you should probably do your eyes first, but I don't do my eyes first. Okay, so like I get the concept of it. Like, is it the worst thing you've ever seen? No. Is it the best thing you've ever seen? No. And like, I feel like you still have to kind of touch it up a little bit because yeah like no matter what it keeps like moving off of your face which keeps it from like being concise or precise and I don't like that okay so I fixed a little bit and it's like it's not horrible but it's just not my favorite so I'm gonna put a little bit more of my base on my lid and put a little something something on my lid so I'm gonna pack on a little bit of this color right here maybe I just don't like it because it's not complete yet a little shimmer always makes everything better Okay, so let's do something a little bit weird today because this whole thing is weird, so we got weird. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit of that second color we use and just run it under my lower lash line. Okay, real quick for liner, I'm gonna use this kind of nude color. It's called Honey Dude. I've never used this before. Okay, a little Pat McGrath mascara. Okay, so real quick, I'm just gonna throw on my lashes and do the other eye off camera, throw on a lip, and I will be right back to give you my final thoughts. Okay guys, I'm back and the look is all finished. I threw on my Ava lashes from Makeup Geek and I threw on the Gerard Cosmetics lipstick in the shade Invasion and topped it off with a little bit of gloss, set my face with some ABH Dewy Set setting spray. So, final thoughts. One, the packaging is very minimal. Cool, we don't like excessive packaging, it's not necessary. Um, I don't, understand what's going on with these bad boys like it said it kind of has the wrong letter on it like the wrong side so that's kind of weird um overall do i like this thing no i think it creates very very drastically different shapes like this one is weird and tadpole-y and this one is chunky and wide i just it's it's so hard to keep it the same shape because it moves so much because you're trying to like not move your eye and when you're doing one side it like moves down on the other and if you press it really really hard against your face it ruins your foundation it's just i'm not a fan of this overall i think it's much easier to do a regular cut crease doing the regular methods and not using this gadget now if you absolutely cannot do a cut crease in any way shape or form whatsoever or you're a beginner and just trying to figure out kind of the overall vibe of a cut crease then yeah maybe you'd like this it's only twenty dollars um for me i don't personally like it i wouldn't personally recommend it i think overall like if you want to try it try it, but like i wouldn't go out of my way to recommend it to people and i just i'm just not a big fan it's just there's too many like look at that that's it's hideous like this is like meh, and this is this one's like don't like it so that, that's just my thoughts on this I mean, yeah, I could try it a few more times or, you know, maybe get better at it, but I just feel like I do cut creases just fine the regular way and I will not be grabbing for this again. But those are my final thoughts on the Crease Piece Creation Kit. Take that as you will. I'm just not a fan. But that is the look all complete. Like I said, I think overall it's a pretty look. It would just be nicer if the eyes kind of matched or were somewhat similar in shape and size, but they're not, but we tried. So that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you for watching me try out this new little gadget that I found on TikTok. If you guys have any other little things that you see on TikTok that you think I might like to try, please let me know in the comments down below so I can check it out. But that is all I have for you guys today. If you'd like to keep up with all things Cody J, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and TikTok, all at Cody J Artistry. And of course, if you enjoyed today's video, even though this eye look was a flop, make sure you give it a big thumbs up down below. Click that big red subscribe button so you can join my YouTube family. Turn on my video post notifications by clicking that bell icon and switching it to all. And I thank you guys so much for watching today's video and I will see you in the next one. Bing, 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 bing.